another Mazen Dairy video. <laughs> Shout out to the guy that started saying that, bro. He made me start saying it. But so um a lot of people, man, I've been getting a lot of lot, a lot, a lot, man, of DMs in my on my Instagram, man. Of people been asking me about like, you know, basically how to buy a Hellcat. So a lot of people been wondering, they've been asking me, you know, like just every kind of question possible, man, about how to buy a Hellcat. Um so um, I so you know, I've answered it a few times, but I guess after so many, bro, I just decided, you know, I decided to try to, you know, I decided to make a video because I've been getting more and more, so I feel like a video would help to answer those questions. So, um, basically, uh, as y'all know, I had a scat pack at first, and then my scat pack got totaled, basically. So, pretty much, I started with a clean slate, basically. So, uh, I went and you know my credit was pretty decent it was like it was in like the mid sevens upper sevens so you know it wasn't perfect but it was in the it was it was decent enough you know so um and you have to make sure that first that your you know your credit is right uh you have to test to see what kind of like apr rates you're gonna get uh and you have to see you know putting money down would help you know if you want to put money down it will help a lot um I know they told me that I think it's like every hundred dollars is equivalent equivalent to one dollar. If I'm saying that right, I don't know. If you work at a dealership, please correct me. But from my understanding, basically when you put money down, every hundred dollars is like ten dollars or one dollar, something like that. And so that's how they determine like how much they take off compared to you know, you know, when you put money down. But you just gotta make sure that your credit is pretty decent. Like I said, mine's like mid sevens around that area. Uh, my APR rate, well, I think was like a, it was like a three or a four or something like that. I can't remember. We couldn't, I couldn't get to where I wanted to get it to because they said I had like too many cars on my credit. So, um, I couldn't get, that's the only why I couldn't get to where I wanted to get it to. But, um, yeah, I mean, I know in most, most Hellcats that you're going to find, if you get like a 16, it's hit me like, but. If you get like a, a 16 Hellcat, you can get one for probably like a good anywhere between like 45 to like 48, 49,000, which is ain't pretty, ain't, that ain't bad at all. Uh, if you get any, uh, far as like miles wise, if you can find one that's like about anything that's, well, it's 19, three years later. So anything under 50, I would say, anything under 50K on the miles, it's, it's pretty good as far as for a 16. Um, a 17 on up, you'll probably get one for like anywhere between like it's gonna be it's gonna be above 50. Like anything that's uh 17, uh 2017 Hellcat and above, it's definitely gonna be over 50. So you're looking at a lot more. So depending on how much it actually is, you're gonna be up there in the price. So my Hellcat is a 16. So when I got mine, mine was about like 46 after all the stuff they did and the tax and title loans, all that good stuff, blah, blah, blah. It came out to probably about like 50, like 50, 51, around that price range. So as y'all know, if y'all watch my other video, I paid probably like like 750 to 770 a month for my Hellcat, uh, as far as the car note. So, um, you just gotta find out what works for you. It's kinda hard, and that's why I made it. That's why I was telling a lot of people that was in my, uh, that were missing me. It's kind of hard, you know, to say like, you know, how to actually buy a Hellcat because it's all in your preference. You know, some people may not want to actually finance a Hellcat. Mine's just finance. Some people may want to lease it. I know lease is a little cheaper, but uh, <clears throat> you get you kind of get stuck in like a contract though. And I think your credit got to be, you know, a little higher too. But uh, you know, it's kind of hard to tell somebody how to buy a Hellcat because it's so much. It's so many factors that go into it. You know, you like again, you have to have know pretty decent amount of credit because your credit if you ain't got no credit i'm gonna tell you that now if you ain't got no credit i don't care how much money you got if you ain't got no credit your best bet you better be buying that hellcat cash money off the lot because if you ain't got no good credit for one more than likely when the, when everything goes through the banks <coughs> excuse me when everything goes to the banks more than likely they probably not gonna see the car if your credit's not right because the banks are not going to take their risk because they gonna feel like you know you're not like worthy enough or whatever they want to call it enough to you know take care of their loan that they're gonna give you so that's the first thing make sure your credit is right uh, try to find the best APR rate that you can possibly get man because 
that's also what's going to determine how much you got to pay a month you know month uh try to put down you know as much money as you possibly can now with me i again because i was basically starting with a clean slate as if i didn't have a car at all i didn't have to put any money down so if i would have put money down of course it would have knocked down my notes some more but i didn't put any money down if it is your first car <clears throat> uh, you know that would help as far as like you know you're not having to worry about negative equity and all that kind of stuff because if, it is, if it's not your first car if you train the car in try to be out of negative try to be out of the, the negative equity part because it's gonna be it's gonna be tough when it's stick on to that new car note <coughs> um so and then try to find just the best deals period like don't go into the dealership and just take whatever they give you because at the end of the day um like a car dealership's job is to get rid of cars they're not into keeping them <coughs> so of course they're gonna try to make money off of it too so anytime that whatever price that they giving you that first price that's not the price that they really can sell that car at. They can always go lower, a lot lower. They just put those prices there because sometimes they do get people that just come in there and don't really know what they're doing or talking about. They just buy it for whatever prices it's on the car. <coughs> but those prices that those, those prices that's on those cars is above whatever they above whatever they standards are. We are in traffic. Look at this. Going to the dealership and hemolite and got us stuck in traffic. Look at this. Oh my god. But most of the time, the prices that's, uh, that they have on this car, when you go to the dealership, you see those, see those uh, prices that's under those stickers. That's not the price. That's not a set price for one. They can always go lower, but that's always that's a price that they put up. Like they always up those prices so they can kind of cover whatever gap that they may miss, or just to, you know, that's a little extra money for their dealership. So those are not the prices that you know they stuck. So. Anytime you go in there and try to find the best deal, don't just go in and settle for a price just because this was on the car sticker. I always try to talk your way down because they will work with you because especially if they know they got a guaranteed sale, they will come down off that car as much as possible because again, it's a car dealership. They're in the business of selling cars, not keeping them. So they trying to get rid of those cars. And of course you'll find like, uh, different months have different specials and stuff like that as far as like, uh, I know like Christmas, they always have deals. Um, New Year's I always have deals and around Valentine's I always have deals and stuff like that because you know that's those are most of the time when people are always trying to buy gifts or you know just New Year you know you always go get something new but whenever you know they have something new coming out for example like you know they just came out with the red eye if I was to buy Hellcat right when they started dropping the red eyes you know they'd be a lot cheaper they would come out the price because they know they have something new that's coming out so so just always try to find a business deal. Don't just jump for whatever the first thing you see because what you see is not what they can give it to you. So I always try to talk down off, you know, off your price. So again, it's kind of vague just to say like, hey, this is how you buy a Hellcat because it's just so many factors that can go into it. You know, some people don't got the credit but got the money to put down for it. You know, and they, their notes still come out hot. Some people got the got the credit but don't got the money down. They can help them because they ain't got to put money down. So it's just so many different factors that can play in it. So to answer everybody's question that hit me up on Instagram, again, I appreciate y'all for even coming to me and asking me, but that is how you get a Hellcat. That's the best way I can actually explain it because again, it's kind of hard and vague because so many factors, you know, money down, credit, APR rate, what dealership you go to. Different states have different stuff too as far as like, uh, I know when I was first looking at my Hellcat, <clears throat> uh, everything in Texas, it was kind of like in the 40, 47, 48 kind of price range area. The only reason why I got my car at note that you know the price I got it at now was because when I first went to go get my Hellcat, this car wasn't even in their system yet. They had just got it in, so of course they just kind of worked with me on the price. So they were just like they were pretty much willing to give it to me, and you know what I was kind of looking at. So. Uh, <clears throat> So yeah, man, so just go, you know, and just do your research first before you try to jump into something. Just make sure that that's the actual best deal you can get. Because again, some dealerships, some states may work with you. I know it was one state, I want to say it was like Oregon, if I'm not mistaken, they had a real, a red Hellcat with like the peanut butter seats on the inside and everything, that thing was so dope. And it was for like 45,000. That car was going for like 45,000. But of course, again, it was in Oregon. I'm, I'm not gonna go with Oregon to get no, get no car. I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. But, but, 
<clears throat> some people some people will some people make their little old flight down there and then they'll take the road trip back in their brand new car so some people like doing that some people will i may do that one day but it ain't gonna it wasn't gonna be for this one shop around do your research make sure everything that you have is in order make sure that you can uh, that you can afford the things that's gonna come with it as far as like what i always tell them every time somebody asks me that on my instagram that's what i always tell them make sure you can afford the stuff like the gas the insurance and the oil changes man because those are the main things that people don't put in the fact like you go and you when you first go buy a car and stuff like that you know people think about okay you know this is how much i gotta pay for gas or whatever or, you know this is how much the car on this so i can i can afford it you know and the insurance but it's stuff like the you know <clears throat> the gas and the oil change and stuff like that those are stuff that you do have to you know worry about and put into factor when you're going to buying a car so just make sure everything is in line for when you go and buy it, man. Like, don't rush into the fur deal just because it may be the car you want. You know, try to work out and see what they do for you. You know, sometimes you have to walk away from the car and they'll call you back. When they, especially when they know you want, you really want the car, they will call you back and be like, hey, man, I talked to such and such and such and such. They said they can do the deal for you. You can come in and buy it today. They'll do it for you. Some people really do that for you. So just stick to your guns. Go in there with somebody know what they're doing, know what they're talking about. Try to find the best deal possible. Don't rush into no deal. Fight for whatever deal you want, man. Again, they are in the business of getting rid of cars, not keeping them, because they all have quotas and deadlines they have to meet because they got to make room for the new car that's coming in. So trust me, they will sell you that car. So that's the best way I can explain to you how to actually buy a Hellcat, man. I'm about to drive. But that's the best way I can explain to you how to get a Hellcat, man. So again, that's the best way I can explain. <laughs> but, uh, Y'all already know how in every last one of my videos, man. Whoever told you the sky's the limit, lied to you because we know absolutely no limit. So let's get this money.